Hi, it's Josh Wright, Business Development Manager here at Art Main Auto Group in Jackson, Michigan. Uh, thank you so much for your interest in this 2018 Suburban Premier. Uh, this vehicle has about 37,000 miles and is a certified pre-owned vehicle from GM. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the certified program, that means it's gone through a 172-point uh, inspection as well as reconditioning process. Uh, you also get an additional 12 months, 12,000 miles of a bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty. Uh, you also get an extended uh, warranty as far as the powertrain goes. You also get two free service visits, uh, good at any GM dealership. So we actually, this vehicle's been in stock for a little over 40 days now. Uh, it did hit its first price drop. Our original asking price was $49,887. Uh, however, due to being in stock for over 30 days, we did drop the price $8,000 down to $48,000. Uh, $887. I'm doing this video because this recent price drop has caused uh, several people on the internet to, to gain a little bit more interest in this vehicle. So I'm just doing this um, just so I can point out anything that I would want to know before uh, coming out and, and looking at or possibly even purchasing the Suburban. So the vehicle is in, in great shape overall. Um, I'm not going to lie, there has been some construction uh, with our uh, our really close highway right here so there is some dust on the the front because it was parked out in front row um, but we're going to start off here on the front this is a black uh, with a cocoa dune interior which is a great combination um, there's a couple of added things on the front here so they've added a chrome bug guard here on the front they've also added uh, i'm not sure if this is a package all together but this is a, a full chrome grill uh, a billet grill in the front uh, you got the front headlamps that are in good shape, HID headlamps with daytime running lamps underneath here. It does have the front fog lamps as well as the forward collision alert. Those are the sensors that you're seeing right here. This does have a 20 inch chrome clad wheel uh, with continental tires. This is, a, like I said, a 20 inch wheel and tire. Good tread depth left on the tires here. Uh, the Premier does have the built-in running boards. It's a nice feature to have. Passive entry. Um, they do have, like I said, the Coco Dune interior. These are heated as well as ventilated, so you do have air that goes through these uh, using that option right there. Uh, they've also opted for the WeatherTech floor mats to cover up the majority of the interior of the vehicle. You can see that it does come with all of the original paperwork, owner's manual, and things like that. Leather is in fantastic shape. You do have a power seat on the passenger side. You're also going to see that Bose audio because it does have the premium Bose audio. And this is not black. This is actually a dark brown. That's part of the uh, part of the Coco Dune interior. Moving on to the second row, uh, this does have the preferred what we call two-two-three configuration. So we have two bucket seats in the front, two bucket seats here in the center, and then a third row with three seats for a total of seven passengers. Uh, they did, like I said, opt for the all-weather floor mat, so this covers the vast majority of the seating back here. So there's also a couple of nice-to-have options in the Premier. The first is a 110-volt AC outlet. You also get heated seats here in the second row. Uh, you also have an HDMI input as well as two USB outputs. Um, it does have the rear entertainment. So this is, I believe, a 7-inch um, DVD slash uh, Blu-ray player. You can see the Chevy MyLink logo there. It also has the sunroof in addition to that as well. You can see the infrared headphones are included. Seats are in good shape. There's no tears or anything like that. You can see that it does have the third row DVD player as well. So that all can enjoy. Tread depth looks about even here on the rear tires. Maybe a little more wear on the rear, but not much. This does have the trailering equipment. However, it's got this nice beauty cover. Uh, it's got a couple of, um, you can see these little things right there. You unscrew those, and that actually comes off to be able to see the trailering equipment. But it's a nice beauty cover, just so you don't have to see that the entire time you're driving it. So the biggest thing about the Suburbans versus the Tahoes is this additional space here behind the third row that you gain. Um, you do have a couple of options, all of your jack and all of your um, uh, fuses are located right here. You do have some additional storage there on the sides 
for any third row passengers. You also have power folding, um, third row seating. Oh, hit that one. Um, so you can see you can actually fold these forward and backwards. You push those headrests down, it'll actually move all the way. Um, you can also do that with the second row as well. I'll show you here. Um, but those are power folding down. Those do not fold back up. Those are a manual fold back up. It does have a power lift gate that is controllable here. There's also a button on the driver's side of the vehicle as well as, of course, using the remote. It does have remote start as well. As you can see here, the folded down second row, and that is a manual fold back up. That's about the only seat that I can see a little bit of sign of wear, possibly like a car seat or something along that line was sitting here. Of course, power seat on the driver's side. Driver's seat's in good shape. No tears or rips or anything like that. You also have power windows and power locks. These are power folding mirrors, so you can actually just with one touch fold them in or fold them out. Uh, memory seating as well for two people, so it'll actually store not only uh, the seating position, but also some of the favorites and some of the other technology on the vehicle. So you have the automatic headlamp control here, uh, the electronic 4x4 control where you can lock it in two high or four high or four low, uh, integrated trailer brake controlling if you're ever going to do any towing with it, uh, a couple of options, you have a uh, traction control to manually turn that off. This is to turn the rear park assist on and off. It does have a backup camera that I'll display in just a second. And this is what we call lane departure warning. So you can turn that on or turn that off. It utilizes a couple of cameras up front to make sure that you're staying in your lane and will alert you when you're not. Uh, power pedals here as well. So it does have cruise control, of course. Um, this is the forward collision alert uh, to change actually how far away you are. So if you're the type of person that gets pretty close, you can change that to a very narrow collision alert. If you like to keep some distance, you can manually override that as well. Uh, heated steering wheel, a really nice to have option for the winter time that's coming up here shortly. Uh, this is to control your driver information center. There's a lot you can do with this. I'm not going to go too much into uh, this, but you can change things like your speedometer, uh, fuel economy, um, you know, as far as your oil life percentage, all that's controlled using the driver information center. Uh, you can see that the vehicle is equipped with OnStar. This is the power lift gate control right there. You can also use this to control the sunroof that's here. Uh, this is a 7-inch touchscreen radio. It's got kind of a couple of cool options here. So it does have this option. You press this button right here. you got a nice little cubby hole to store your cell phone or anything else that's valuable that you don't want in plain view for others. Uh, this is a touchscreen radio. You can see here it does have the backup camera. Uh, AM, FM, uh, XM radio, uh, pretty much everything you're ever going to need. It does have the onboard navigation as well. Uh, you do have a CD player located here. Uh, your HVAC controls are located right here. So you just set this just like a dial or at home. It'll heat or cool uh, until it gets to that temperature right there, of course, for your passenger as well. You do also have additional controls here for your second and third row um, in the back there if they wanted it warmer or colder. Uh, heated seats as well as ventilated seats are located right here. You can see you've got cigarette lighter and a couple of USB ports. You have two cup holders here. This is the key fob, so like I said, you can control the um, power lift gate as well as the remote start here. Kind of a cool option, this is actually a wireless charger, so you can actually set your phone down right there and it'll wirelessly charge. No cable needed as long as your phone has the capabilities. Uh, and a nice large storage area. And you do have another couple of USB ports as well as an auxiliary port. So all in all, the vehicle is in great shape. Like I said, that recent uh, price reduction is why I'm doing this. We've had a few people reach out uh, showing interest in the Suburban. So if you're interested uh, in purchasing it or if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out again. This is Josh Wright, Business Development Manager here at Art Main Auto Group. Uh, my direct line is 517-841-7689. 517-841-7689.
Again, it's Josh Ray with our main. Thank you.